it's me, Angelica Collado, Music 1AC. I'm here with another video, and this is going to be Coach Part 2 because I wanted to show you guys that the earrings actually fit into my ears. Maybe I should have said this before, but if you didn't watch Part 1 first, then don't watch Part 2, okay? Until you watch the first part, okay? All right, so anyways, um, I got the earrings to fit, so I wanted you guys to know that. So this is kind of like an update, coach update part two, or coach part two slash update. That's what it'll be called. Um, so yeah, so I got the earrings to fit. I didn't have to share them with my sister. Um, and this, I want you guys to know, is called a slider bracelet. That's what this is. And, um, let's see, you can, this is called a heart, a heart crystal set, ear set, well, I don't know, I don't know, but, um, it's called, uh, these are pink hearts, they have, like, another color, I think it was clear or green, um, so I wanted to show you the back of it, and, um, and yeah, you can see the price. If I zoom in. Where is it? Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, it wasn't. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Okay. Anyways, so I wanted you to know that about it. And I wanted to show you exactly how it works because I didn't think that I showed you in the other video. So, as you can see, it's a slider bracelet because it's not like your typical bracelet, so it's kind of cool. Um, you basically, in order to remove it, you have to slide this little part down, and then it just slides off your hand. And um, basically, it is work, it, it stays on all day. You know, I don't have a problem with it as of yet. And I wore it a couple of times already, and it manages to stay on my hand uh, all day. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's really inventive and, um, inventive. I never, I never use that word, but anyways. So, you know, it's a really good design. And it's really easy to put on, especially with your opposite hand. Okay, so that is one thing I wanted you guys to know. Another thing is a tip. I wanted to share with you a tip of mine on how to keep your jewelry nice and neat. And so if you don't have a jewelry box of your own, I don't have a jewelry box either. Um, I used to have jewelry boxes when I was younger, but you know, trying to take care of your jewelry is kind of difficult sometimes. You know, they can get messed up, they can get tangled, they can break. I found a really easy way to do that, and it is by saving the box that your jewelry set or your jewelry has come in. So, basically, what I'm going to do, what I do to keep my jewelry nice and neat, is by just saving the box and just putting it exactly where it came from. And let me just show you an example. Now, this is something that I got from Hellsberg Diamonds, and it is a ugh, it's dangling but it's a diamond necklace and I've had it for maybe like four or five years and it is basically brand new right it looks well let me fix it up <laughs> okay so as you can see it looks like I just bought it right because it's in the box and let me tell you it has lasted me a very long time I wear this often I wear it often especially when I was performing um, I would you know carry it on stage you know holidays all those types of things and I love it I love it so much but this technique keeps it safe and it also gives you that illusion as if though you just bought it you know so it keeps it really fresh and really nice so if you don't have jewelry boxes then you can opt for this this option I'm telling you it works and it doesn't get tangled. It really never really gets, it never gets tangled. Um, but, you know, keep it on a desk, keep it in a drawer or in like a cabinet, something like that. Because let's say if you take this and you throw it in your bag, if it jiggles around too much, then 
it'll definitely get tangled but you know it's gonna definitely keep it nice and neat and that's what I do with all of my jewelry to be honest and I plan to do that with my coat set so it's just a nice tip to keep in mind you know I've had jewelry boxes before and sometimes those things happen where it tips over things fall out you know and you know it can get messy it can get tangled you know crazy things happen um so this is one method that you might want to try and trust me it'll work for you um and yeah so I, I just wonder how many years I will I will have this this everything <laughs> Um, okay, so now let's see another thing I wanted to say because I did not clarify this in the other video I Didn't tell you so maybe some people don't know this but actually leather is Cow skin so that's why I was talking about oh, I can't wear it because I'm vegetarian So if you don't know that then you wouldn't really know what I was talking about but leather is actually cow skin That's what leather is and lots of you know at one point, you know, I was vegetarian for, um, how many years ago was that? So, it was about three years ago, right? So, I had already been a vegetarian for three or four years, and I, it completely slipped my mind that, um, leather was cow skin, and that's when I started purchasing coat, right? So, I mean, and I've seen a lot of celebrities, like, claiming to be vegan, claiming to be vegetarian, and I see them wearing, you know, these name brand stuff. So I don't really think a lot of people are aware of that. So hopefully, you know, spread that word because people need to know this, right? And maybe the more people know this, the more that they're aware of it, the more you know, the labels will hear about it and they're going to want to make these, you know, these vegan options. So you must tell everyone, like, this, there's a whole big hype going on about, like, being vegan and vegetarian, all the foods that are out right now. Um, but nobody's talking about the name brand bags. So one day it'll all register in all of our minds and everybody will start complaining about it, right? Because, you know, I was thinking about it. If McDonald's, you know, it's a cow, right? No matter what you use, whether it's the skin or the gut, right? It's a cow. And so we're killing cows and there's burgers, which is a cow, right? A dead cow. And we're eating them. McDonald's sells them for a dollar. But when you use the skin of the cow, it's so much more money, right? Isn't that strange? Like, why is that? Why is it that the meat is cost less than the skin. I mean, either way, the animal is dying, right? The animal's dead. So, you know, why why do that, right? Why why is it why is it like that? We just shouldn't use it, right? And it's worse because we're eating the animal, right? We're eating this animal and we're we're purchasing it for just a dollar. So it's like kind of saying it's not worth it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, not that a coach bag or a designer bag is worth it. It's not. But that's the point. You know, it's just, it's just strange that it's just like, why? Why bother? Why bother using this leather, this cow skin? You know, if it's not, it doesn't even really even, it's not really even worth it. That's the point. Um, you know, people say, you know, leather, leather, they think it's, it's like something, you know, think that it's just like food. They think that it's like just the object, you know, it's just leather. It's just a type of material, but it's not, it actually comes from cows. It's cow skin. So, um, luckily I don't think there's any name for like snake skin, right? Like there's no name for that. So people know, like if there's snake snake skin boots or something like you know it's snake skin you don't think it's leather or anything else okay so that's it for this coach part two update because i wanted to explain myself a little bit on those things um so i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope that you spread the word and if you are vegetarian if you are vegan consider it you know Think about why you became vegetarian. Um, and again, this is a video I want to make, but I just haven't uh, planned it out yet. But, you know, think about why. Because for me, um, I had, you know, for me, it's it's a lot of different reasons. It's not just because of health. It's also because of morals. And it's also because of animal cruelty. 
and you know there's a lot of different things so you know really think about why you are and then try to see if you know if it's worth it to keep purchasing those labels if you are and um even for me like the process is still going like because even though i don't eat meat i still purchase french fries at mcdonald's you know so somebody told me that they're like aren't you a hypocrite if you eat fries from mcdonald's they kill animals and i'm like no <laughs> like <laughs> it's hard already to be vegetarian and you know why why do you know it's hard <laughs> at least i have the option of fries you know what i mean but you know yeah so that's that's the next part it's gonna take a while to get there um but uh but yeah so but i don't i don't have any leather bags so that's good <laughs> so it's a working progress you know um but i did have it three years ago so you know i'm not trying to be a hypocrite it's just I'm working things out, right? And I'm spreading the word with this YouTube channel. So, you know, get it going. Spread the word. Make sure everybody knows this. So that way, you know, hype it up. So all these labels can stop it with this cow skin. Um, okay, so <laughs> that's it for the video officially. And thanks for watching. Um, and I hope that you let me know about, you know, how these ideas come out for you, you know, if it, it works or not. Um, okay, so, bye!